Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures, resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. And guess what? homers of stuff. Guess what we did? Donna risked life and limb on a ladder, and she did this. Yay! We have our stickers up, everybody. Check it out. We need more stickers. There's all the stickers that we got from Planes of Profit and from a couple in the mail. And that's fun. Yeah. We had pr been trying to decide where to put them. And so we decided to put them right over the walkway going through so the garage. Can see oh, the house. It's, like, it's like on game day. It's like on, we yeah. go through. And touch the stickers. Yeah. Good game. <laughs> Good game. Good luck all. <laughs> While you're at it, please like and subscribe. <laughs> um yeah today's and, sh and share with your friends and share with your friends today's video is going to be a little bit different instead of the focus being on ebay today the focus is going to be on the dollar auction yes. last night i was trying to decide what we we're going to film today and we have some email sales we're going to actually show the what solds first and then this afternoon i have two different rounds of dollar auctions ending yes. and, and they're completely different types you. of things yeah so we're going to show you how it works and we're going to show you what everything went for because We've said it in the past, uh, a lot of people do whatnot. We thought about it and we re realized that we have our own version of whatnot. It's a local whatnot, basically. It is, it is. So we're gonna explain what all we that. we do instead. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we're gonna show what we got for the prices for all the items that I have on. There's 50 items, 25 or 48, 25 on one auction site and 23 on another. We'll go over all that and we're gonna go start with eBay first. Okay, let's go. All right, let's do the DVDs and books. We already got them pulled. There's not a whole lot of them today. Uh, first of all, Network Blu-ray, $9 plus shipping. <laughs> Why you do that? And then The Ghost Whisper, Jennifer Love Hewitt. And this is the entire series. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next up, The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide, Complete and Unabridged. I don't know what unabridged means, but... I know that it sold for $20 plus shipping. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have the Essential Spider-Man Volume 6. It's the Amazing Spider-Man Essential. Essential, the Amazing Spider-Man Volume 6. Yeah, that. And that was $13 plus shipping. And then the last book, uh, book DVD sale we have is the Tomb of Dracula. These were two separate ones, and they bought both of them for a total of... $32.98, and they're both going to the same person. So those are going out. The rest of the stuff we still have to pull, so let's make Donna do a bunch of that. Oh. This is a lot of your stuff, so it will be fun for you. Okay. All right, inbox J. J. Donna got this from a state sale. That's heavy. You're looking for precious most. There's a red box right there. It's the Nativity. Yep. Oh, pretty. Precious Moments Nativity set. That sold for $26.24. Yay. Why is this so heavy? Oh, because this is in there. Goodness sakes. Yep, it is. That's been in there a long time. Maybe it'll sell now because we touched it. That's true. Maybe. Next up in box nine. We got to go way to the back here in this well-lit aisle. Yes. And find box nine. You can bring it out here. It should be heavy too, also. Okay. All right, in here there should be a book set. Louise Penny, the first free Chief Inspector something box novel set. Right there. Louise Penny, maybe not Louise. Uh, that sold for $18.74. Nice. Next up in box 52. Oh. Cha-ching! Well, Cha-ching! Oh, we just sold a $30 DVD set. We'll have to grab them. Nice. That cha-ching was um, Get a Life, the complete series. Here, I'll just do a pop-up, and it was $29.99 for that DVD set. It is upstairs, so there is that we just sold, and they paid for. What sold out of here? All right, in box 52, we have... There's the silver-plated bells, the little bells, ah. right there. We'll get these out and show you what they are. These were already wrapped for you to ship. I could have just shipped them, but then we couldn't show them on YouTube. That's right. Check those out. It is, what is it again? 
Is it Peter Rabbit? Is that what it is, we think? Beatrix. Yeah, Peter Rabbit. Hopefully that's focusing. Here's the really big one. So anyway, they're silver plated bells. Here's a rabbit. It's Peter Rabbit. There's a dog. Puppy dogs. Our dogs. Our dog. Yeah, one dog ones. barks at everything, and the other dog, we have the back door open. It just sits there in the sunshine watching the world go by without a care in the world. Don't bark at anything. <sighs> He's my spirit animal. <laughs> Go to box 33 next. Let me move the bells. Rock the bells. And it's right there, I believe. This bag? Yep, that bag. Did you know that sold? I didn't. Yeah, sold for $18.74. It's a really, really, really cool diaper bag. Yeah, what's the brand? Orla Kelly. Orla Kelly. Okay. Target. That's going out. I did not know that sold. sold. Box G. And this is another one of the head covers. This is the one with the uh, one on it. This big one here, we got an offer, and we sold that for eleven twenty-five. Got that for either three or five dollars during planes of profit. Eleven twenty-five, out the door. And one more thing, Donna. All right, here in box L A, there is a another golf head cover, sold for eight dollars, and that's going out. That's the last thing that shipped. That's that sold that I need to ship. So I'm going to do the shipping now, and then in like an hour, my first round of dollar auctions end, and when we get finished with that. We're going to go through and we're going to explain how we do it and we're going to show what all everything sold for. Okay, here we go. Dollar auction time. It is, I don't even know what time it is. It's late in the afternoon. We went to the post office after shipping and then we went back down to Plato's Closet and then we had a very late lunch and then halfway home from Plato's Closet, Plato's Closet said that it was done. So we went back up there to Plato's Closet and got another, what, $76, I think Donna got. So Plato's Closet has been crushing it for us. We actually took stuff that was too nice for Plato's Closet. When we went back, they tell you why they don't take it. And they were like, well, a lot of this stuff is just like more like young professionals. And so the other, we have a sister store in Omaha named something and they'll take those. So we have another lead for like nicer clothes for young professionals. Uh, Plato's Closet is just more basic type stuff, I guess. Anyway, on to dollar auction. All right, I have two rounds of dollar auction. The first one I'm gonna show you, this is what I'm gonna explain it all. Uh, it's not as much fun stuff because it's a lot of books and DVDs. It's the stuff that from that buyout that to finish everything off that I didn't put on eBay. And, but there's a few other things. And then the second round that we're gonna do, so if you get tired of the books and DVDs, this ain't gonna take very long. If you get tired of the books and DVDs, then uh, the second round I'm gonna do after I call those auctions, is a lot of various things, a lot more varied, and it's bigger stuff in the garage and stuff. So stick around for that. Um, we're just gonna go through this. I got 25 things right now. I'm gonna explain how the dollar auction works, show you screenshots, and I'll show you what we got for each item. This is like our local whatnot. This is why we don't do whatnot. And it ended up, I had this idea yesterday, and they actually, auctions did pretty well. So I'm really happy with how they turned out. And so it'll be kind of fun to show you all this stuff. So let's get into how it works exactly. I'll get some screenshots going here. Okay, the first screenshot I'm popping up here is my listing for, this is a DVD box set of King of Queens. Uh, and you can see it says what it is. And then it says the discs may have some smudging or light scratches, but all will play fine. You have to put the condition of the item into the listing. Um, and then it says good use condition. And then it says like what area of town it's in and when the auction ends. It ended Friday, March 29th at 3 p.m. So then as long as you bid before, before 3 p.m. If you bid at 3 p.m., it's too late. It ends at 3 p.m. So that is the first screenshot. That's the listing. So once it's listed, then people will come in and with their bids. And the next screenshot will be, this is like right after it listed. And I covered up everybody's names and their profile pictures, obviously. And then they tag themselves, they put their name in, so that will that should get notifications when somebody comments on it. So if you look, there was a $1 bid, then a 2 then a 3 then a 5 then a 6 You don't have to bid at $1 at a time, you can jump it up. But you have to do $1 increments at a time. And so that was in the first couple hours. Well then after that, 
you can see, so these random icons on this one, uh, the corn and the banana and stuff, every couple hours we can, they call that bumping it. We put an icon on there to bump it up to the top of the list. Like if you go on the dollar auction website, then it has a comment, it will get bumped up towards the top again. So those are things that we do every couple hours. We bump the listing by putting an icon in. And then there was a bid for seven. Then at the end, before it was over, there was a bid for $8. And so then I messaged that person and said, I said, I tagged her name and I said, you win for $8. So once that's done, so we go through all 25 auctions and do that. Call them all, meaning put their names in, say they want it. And then we have to message all the people and we have to make tags so uh, we can package all their things up. So the next thing I do, I go through and I make all the tags before I message the people. And so one of the tags looks like I'll, I'll grab the one for this. All right, so this person actually won two things. They won that for $8 and they won, uh, my name is Earl box set for four. So their total is $12. So here I'll cover up the name and show, there's my tags, it's $12. And in the bottom corner, I write in small letters what it is and then it has their name and then when i bag it up we tape this to the bag so people know which ones are theirs obviously so that's and then i'll go through after making all the tags then i go through message all the people and say like this person i'll say hey you won these two auctions for a total of twelve dollars yeah twelve dollars and i'll say i'll have it ready for pickup by whatever such and such time i think i'll have it out by if it's late at night, we just do it for like the next morning or whatever. And then they come and pick it up. And that's, we package it all. We put it all in certain places for them to pick it up. We have security cameras, all that bigger stuff. Sometimes we'll just wait until they're coming. More expensive things we don't put out. We wait until, ask, you know, see when they're coming and then we'll put it out when they come um and stuff like that so it varies but we have a we have a pickup set up and a money box a locked money box mounted and everything um and so that's how our dollar auction works so the 25 things i just ended uh, a lot of books and movies but there's some more interesting things in the second auction which will go a lot faster now that i've explained how it works so that's how it works here's what it sold so that you can kind of compare to whatnot a couple things did not sell and some things sell for really cheap and some things do really well so um, I think it's the same premise. Instead of shipping it, we just have to message and package and everything else, but then we don't have to like ship it. So here we go. Let's do the first 25. The first thing we have is actually not books or CDs, DVDs. It's actually like tiki torches for outdoors. And if I go out in the garage, it's right here. Like this set of six tiki torches, that sold for $1. So somebody will come get those for $1. All right, so it's going to be kind of in order, kind of not in order. I had five lots of Hallmark ornaments. I did five ornaments per lot. And they were listed one, two, three, four, five. And they actually sold to the same person for $3, $3, $3, $4, $4, $4. So that's $17. And they all went to the same person, so I get to actually package them all up together and put them out for $17 to one person. So those all go out. The next lot was four random comics. They didn't like have matches or anything. So it's just these four here and those sold to $1 for somebody. And then next up was this piano chord book and it just has all different chords for learning the piano. And that sold for $3. Next up with the little book of incredibly useful knots. Really cool book. I honestly should keep this, but I'm not gonna. And that sold for four dollars to someone. Next up was Sherlock Holmes, a lot of three Sherlock Holmes books. That did not sell. So if it did not sell, we will usually take it and donate it. We'll donate it, we'll give it away, or we'll throw it away. This will be uh, I mean, these are good books here. They're in good shape. So these will probably just be donated. Um, so we'll set those aside. Then we had this vintage Sports Illustrated NFL Playbook book. And this did not sell either. Um, just interesting little book, but that did not sell. So that'll get donated too. Then the last of the books, we have these two 1,000-page Archie books. 1,000 pages, guys. That's so many pages. I did not go through and count and make sure it was a thousand pages. 
So that's 2,000 pages, and those books went for $5 to somebody. And then the rest for this round is DVD lots. And first up is this random lot again, nothing matched. So we have Fantastic Beast. Um, that wasn't actually in there, but I'm just going to throw it in with it. Elementary Season 3, Sons of Anarchy Season 1, Big Bang Theory Season 10. So I mean, they're super random. I threw them all together, and that sold for $2 right there. After that, we had the Untouchables. This is the complete Untouchables series. All the discs, and that sold for $5 right there. $5, that sold for going out the door. So, why did I not put these on eBay? I think I explained that already. Um, some of them, so for example, some of them, let's say, you know how these little discs, they hold in here and there's a little plastic, all the little pieces around it? There's a, some of these where like one of the plastic pieces may have been broken off. So the disc will sit on there, but not real tight, like it'll fall off. And so I don't want to ship it if it's shy, sliding around inside of here. So um, I'll just put it on the dollar auction because it's not worth getting a return over. And then some of them, like maybe this one. Yeah, this one just has a lot of like smudges. It can be cleaned. It will read. It will play everything. But after doing this for like a long, long time, I got tired. A lot of these I would clean up and list on eBay. But when you got whole box sets, if they're a lot like this, then you get tired of cleaning them and finally you're like, you know what, unless it's worth a lot of money, it just gets to be not worth it and there's so many other things to do. So $5 right there. Next up was I Dream of Genie. This is all five seasons of I Dream of Genie. Kind of a fun show, right? Um, and that went for $7. And then next up was the Twilight Zone. This is a huge box set. The complete series of the Twilight Zone. Just a massive stack of DVDs here. And that sold for $8. Up next we got Here Come the Brides, Season 1. That is, I've never heard of this show, but uh, that one sold for $4. Yeah, $4 right there. And then we have the King of Queens we talked about. And that went for $8 for that whole complete series DVD box. Then we have the Rockford Files. Anybody ever watched the Rockford Files? I remember when I was young. We didn't watch it a lot, but I remember it. Um, that's the entire series. All the discs. And that went for $6 right there. Next up, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Like this one, the case has a crack and a hole in it. This only went for $2, but yeah, I wouldn't put that on eBay. Even if I showed it, somebody would say they didn't see it, they didn't know. Like, you know, not worth the return, so I throw it on dollar auction, get $2 for it. Next up, a big fan favorite here, Happy Days. This is the first six seasons of Happy Days. Kind of like that other one I showed. It's just a massive stack of DVDs in here. There's so many. Um, and that sold for $10. Right there. This is weird because I keep wanting to say plus shipping, but it's not plus shipping. It's the dollar auction. So, $10 right there. Uh, Pamela Anderson video stack. There's two seasons of this. It's a complete series, and that went for $2. Sleepy Hollow. There's four seasons of that, and that's the four seasons. And that went for $6 right there. Early Edition, I've never seen this before. There's two seasons of Early Edition, and I went for $5. And lastly, here's My Name is Earl. That's the whole season series there, and that went for $4 right there. So that's my first round, 25 items, have them on for 24 hours, and the total for all 25 was $100 exactly, which is kind of weird, but $100 for that. So now I will bag all these up, put them in plastic bags, put the tags on them, put them out for people to pick up, and then I will do, but you'll, you won't see that. I'll fast forward, and we're going to go through and show you the other more interesting, a lot of more diverse things um, that sold on the second round. I have 23 things listed for that. I'm going to go end them now, and then I'm going to show you what all sold for that. All right, round two is over. 23 things. Guess who's here? Guess who's back? Donna's back. Back again. <laughs> Donna's back. 
Tell a friend. All right. <laughs> Donna, did you see the picture Mikey sent me? No. You didn't see it? No. Dude. What I'm going to show you. I want to. I want you to. We're going to show the people this too. We're going to show the people? Yep. Donna was looking for pictures. Or Mikey's looking for pictures. And look at this picture he found. Oh, <laughs> That's us. Look at that. That's at. Uh, see that? That's at. It's at my sister's wedding. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that boy, That's we were a Tracy's, young couple. Tracy's wedding. I had hair. And I was skinny. Yeah, me too. We <laughs> were, she had red hair, I had hair. <laughs> what a, that was fun. Yeah, my cousin sent me that, and I'm like, wow, look at them kids. That's awesome. So, that was 20, 25 years ago, I think. Anyway. No. 2001. 23 years ago then whatever okay. whatever i round it's to the i round to the nearest five all right let's do this we're gonna do pictures first we had like i don't remember 10 or so pictures like old photos and regular random photos we're gonna show those first because they're not as much fun as like the other random things just got a cha-ching and that was a buyer paying for guess what a hallmark ornament yeah that has started all right donna all right, first one is a mother's love. It's a what are they embroidery? A needlepoint. Needlepoint. That's yep. for one dollar. One dollar. This is an oil painting. Um, it's sold for one dollar. Okay. This is an old family photo. No, this is not my family. But this <laughs> sold for five dollars there. Probably for the old frame, but old Maybe. wooden frame. And then this also sold to the same person. Yeah, this is. We don't know if it's a school. Is that a school? Like a That's school. like young people. Yeah, look yeah, at it. Looks like a class it looks picture. like he has one of those things on the glasses, the nose, and the yeah, mustache. Yeah, that's funny. So I sold for one dollar. And then we got another needle point. The needle point. This one did not sell. It did not. Did not. Okay. Then we've got a couple. This frame is really pretty. Needs yeah, a little is. fixing. But I'm um, looking for this one. Two people, uh, four dollars to sold for. Really cool, yeah. And it's actually just like nails. There's hold on, hold still. There's like oh nails goodness, on the, the side. Glass is coming out. So it just needs to be all tightened up. But yeah, two dollars. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, no four dollars. Sorry, that was four dollars. I'm all messed up here. Do this one. All right, this tall. Uh, Indian gal and a deer, it looks like. This sold for one dollar right there. One dollar. This is look at this old frame. That's this is pretty called cool, the huh? windmill. Yeah, this is a windmill picture, and this sold for four dollars right there. And then we have just a couple Vader. more. Vader. Here's Vader. This is actually a poster in one of those poster frames. Uh, just a plastic frame. That sold for two dollars. This one. That one did not sell. Uh, just a big picture of a scene. Mm -hmm. Did not sell. And then this one here sold for one dollar. So that's all the pictures. Now we'll just go through and we'll show you all the other things I had listed, show you what all they sold for, and tell you how much the total is. First up, this is a Louisville Slugger bat, and it sold for twelve dollars. I took this to play it in sports, they passed on it, and it sold for twelve dollars. We have two sleeping bags, and each one sold for two dollars. Right person. there, same person. All of these totes went to the same person. Yes, the bottom two went for ten dollars. The top two went for eight dollars. Uh, we have a shredder right here, paper shredder. Don't want to show the name. Uh, that sold for twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. What else we got? The fan over there. Uh, let's go right here. Golf clubs. These also went to uh, Play It Again Sports. They're tailor-made burners, and those sold for $10 here. Nice. These are umbrellas that you clamp on your chair, and they just like for sunshade. So two yeah. umbrellas, and those sold for, do you know how much? Oh, sorry. That's all right. Don't apologize to me. Uh, $8. $8 for those right there. And then there's a random lot of, there's a couple tension bars and a couple things of shades. Those Average went for $2 shades. right there. We won't open this, but it's a Gottenfurt. I think that's German. It's a drywall sander. It's in uh, used condition. That sold for what? Ten dollars? Or eight? Either eight or ten. Ten. Ten dollars right there. 
Uh, did you do the fan? I did not. Okay. That's and new and in then the back box. here, there's a brand new in the box. This came from came from a clean out. Brand new in the box, stand up tower fan. And that sold for fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen dollars right there. The and then there's this mirror. big vintage mirror. This thing is heavy. That Very is heavy. old school mirror. That sold for one dollar. So that's going out the door. Is that it? I believe. I believe that is it. Donna says that's it. So that's it. She's the boss. That's it, folks. That's it, folks. <laughs> Please like and subscribe again. <laughs> All right. So that's everything. That's the 23 items from that sale sold for a total of $113. Yep. So that was 90, 98, 48 total things, $213. So that's see, awesome. Good job, honey. That's why we don't do whatnot because yeah. we have our own, as long as Facebook isn't messing with us and restricting accounts and crap. It works really well and we get to list a bunch of stuff and yes. get it moved on. We do have to message everybody. We have to make tags. We have to package it all and everything. Usually we don't have to goes, ship it, but we do have to, you know. Usually it goes faster because we are a team and he calls it out. I write it down. I make the tags. He calls the or not calls announces messages, the people, messages yeah. the people and then together we mark it and put it out for pickup yeah so so it usually goes faster than when yeah but this this us. is donna's specialty like i do more i do the shipping i do the videos and stuff she lists a lot more on dollar auction but i just thought it'd be interesting we've had lots of questions about dollar auction how does it work and so we thought this would be a good explanation for things so i think that's about it we have dinner with our youngest yep. tonight and her boyfriend yeah. Is it a boyfriend? Or are you officially a boyfriend? Yeah. Okay, her boyfriend. So we're calling uh we met we met him once. Seems like a really nice young yes. guy. So we're gonna go have dinner with him tonight. So we gotta get this stuff us out and get things wrapped up so we can do that. Yep. All and right. And then tomorrow maybe we will Oh, you have to I have leave. a funeral. Well, I have to go to a funeral okay. in the morning, but um tomorrow's next week we'll maybe stuff. Fixed because we'll be in hey, Kentucky. next week we're going to do the bins in st louis i think two yes, days yes. i think we're going to go we're going to kentucky and i think we're going to go to the bins for their second v half via the bins the first day and then the, <laughs> wake up and go in the morning before we finish the road to kentucky but yes. we'll see um that's the plan right now but who knows um for that's it for now anything else you got that's it that's it that's like everything. and subscribe happy easter share with your friends yes and yeah. happy easter to everyone yep all right well we're happy heart treasures and i'm steve i'm donna we'll see you next time bye